So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you an incredible build. Check it out on screen now. So guys, this, this build basically consists of you wielding two twin blades and the work it does is utterly unbelievable. Today I will explain all. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so before we go any further, I love giving credit and I do give credit always where it's due. And I'm going to say uh, that I actually originally saw something very similar to this, which actually inspired me into making this a few weeks back. That could have been longer than that on TikTok, believe it or not, guys. I saw it on TikTok, a guy called Mr. Nobody. I saw what he was doing and it inspired me. Now, is this slightly different? His setup slightly different. His build is slightly different. Actually, it's quite a lot different. But either way, we kind of use it the same way. Uh, but hey, credit where credit's due. Thanks to him. Uh, it inspired me to make this one simple as that so credit to mr nobody on tiktok i don't know if he's got a youtube channel i'm not I'm not even sure guys i'm not even sure okay so what how this works and what what causes the massive amounts of damage is mainly the jump attack so you jump uh, with uh dual twin blades your jump and your right bump your left bumper sorry just like a like a four hit combo boom Boom, now you can just stand in front of the enemy and just keep slashing these or you can carry it on when you land and slash even more. That's completely up to you. Uh, but either way, you land in some serious, serious damage. Now, the weapons we are using, guys, and it's probably why I've called this a flame bleed build or something along those lines. We're using the Godskin Peeler and we're using the Eleanor's Pole Blade. Now, these both can be leveled up one more time to make this even crazier. Uh, the God Skin Peeler is just utterly brutal. We know it comes with its own amazing weapon art skill. But I actually put on it Sapuku, which I'll talk about in a quick second of why that's here. Uh, I actually use the God Skin Peeler in my right hand, by the way. In my left hand, I use the Pole Blade. Now, the, the crazy thing about this weapon is, and I actually didn't notice this when I first got it, as well as its physical attack damage it does, it also does fire damage. Fire damage, people. Scales with Arcane. Uh, strength and dexterity it requires 12 strength 21 dexterity and 19 arcane it's got a great blood loss build up of 79 at a plus 9 that is we also have on this this one requires 17 strength and tw uh, 22 sorry dexterity this one's got a 135 blood loss build up with all i've got on it at a level plus 24. we also use here a seal uh, i'm using this one it's the best one i've got uh, the Giant Seal plus 24, it's got a boost Giant's Flame Incantations, uh, pretty cool. This one requires 4 Strength, 14 Dex, de uh, sorry, 14 Faith, nice. This actually creates a Bleed build and Fire build, both scale off Arcane. The more you have in Arcane, the better. I actually respect, <laughs> and I took out my Arcane, I might respect again because I'm loving this that much and boost more into it. The more Arcane you get with this, guys, the more crazy it's going to be. I mean, you saw the clips I was doing with it. And it was absolutely destroying. Imagine what it would be like with 90 arcane, 90 plus arcane. Ridiculous, guys. And I'll explain why this seal's here in a second and how we boost this to make it even more powerful. Uh, also, guys, everything here in regards to what we use for this build, I will link in the video description if you don't have it already because of most of these things here I've already covered on my channel in terms of locations and guides. So if there's something here you like the sound of, maybe you like this build and want to use it or try it out, or you want to incorporate something from this build into your build, you'll find a guide to that said item in the video description. Okay, so the helmet or the mask I'm using is the white mask. This guy's, as you know, or you probably don't know, it boosts um, attack power when there's blood loss nearby. Amazing. We then have this here. The Raptor's Black Feathers. What this does is, guys, it strengthens jump attacks. And because we're jumping and attacking with that, that four hit combo mid-air, why not? 
why not make it even more powerful and the rest you can wear what you want i mean if you can as long as you keep it at medium load put on what you can if you can wear tank gear amazing i can actually do that but i just like the way this looks okay so talismans we've got the rotten wing sword insignia greatly raised attack power with successive hits or attacks now i actually have both of the ones from millicent's um quest line i'm not exactly sure which one's better if i'm honest i know this one boosts dexterity but i was told this one is the better one i don't know either way either or should be just fine for you um we also have the fire scorpion charm raises fire attack but lowers damage negation now this works beautifully with obviously this right here why not we then have the lord of blood's exaltation bloodlust in fascinity increases attack power guys it's gonna be bloodlust everywhere more attack power we then guys have the claw talisman enhances jump attacks again guys we're gonna be jumping all over the place this makes things much much better in regards to my flask i am using the flame shroud and crack tier temporary boost fire attacks i'm also using the strength nut crystal tier temporary boost strength so yeah hey ho there we go okay so in regards to incantations and my seal this is the main one I'm using, to be honest. I was told that uh, this one, the Golden Vow, increases attack po uh, power and defense for yourself and allies. Now, this works and it does increase my attack based on uh, what I'm using here. So I use it anyway. I'm not sure it does, but I use it anyway. And then we have Flame, grant me strength. This one again, raises physical and uh, fire affinity attack power. Works amazingly with that. Pole Blade, people. And that's basically what we do. I mean, we just pop all these. So what, the way I do it is the order I'd normally do it is I'd drink my flask just like so. I'd, I'd grant uh, my strength with my flame on my seal. I'd switch to my golden vow. I'd switch back to my pole blade and then I'd just stab myself with my seppuku, my ash of war on my uh, god skin peeler. And I don't do that every time I go into a fight, guys. I just do that at the harder bosses. And let me tell you, absolutely shreds. And you saw the clips um at the start of the video i mean i actually have done more or less every boss on this map right now i'm just got, trying to find a few left things and i'm going to go into new game plus so i apologize by uh, many of my builds and weapon showcases it's me killing the same things over and over but i do try and find the hardest things to kill that's why i go up into the mountain tops of the giants and take my anger out and test these out on the actual giants up there um i do obviously sometimes go to the uh, near the storm veil because i'm just used to weapons as standard hitting there and seeing their att attack damage but yeah mainly when i'm doing builds i do uh, try them out at least try to try them out i'm much much tankier targets and can even see like i said at the start of the video it absolutely brutalizes said targets and like i said my arcane could only go up even more could make this even more powerful no two ways about it guys so yes again credit to mr nobody for giving me the inspiration for this thing it absolutely batters many many things out and i've seen a couple of other builds on this where people like to use um other twin blades not the pole uh, blade which is completely fine i mean there's many things you can use here guys i actually tried it out with this twin blade here with spooky on it but i just feel in regards to the um the fire and being able to do even more damage i think the pole blade probably is better but hey it's just like just the way i like to play i'm not gonna lie um i actually also try switching these around so i could use the uh eleanor's pole blade special attack so i could stab myself with this and then use the special attack from this but i actually just wasn't using it i mean as much as i thought it would be i mean you can always two hand it if you want to and then drop it because this is a great attack let's not lie to ourselves i mean you could always i mean you could do that quite simply i mean you could put on all your boosts you can then stab yourself that seppuku on that blood skin peeler they can always just two hand this and have all the buffs on this if you want to do that that's completely fine the possibilities are endless you could also then at the same time two hand the uh blood skin peeler so it is really guys that simple now if you don't know, actually know how to two hand a weapon some people seem so confused about this so if you're dual wielding a weapon guys this is what you got to do Okay, so on console, so on PS4 or, PS, or PlayStation, sorry, on Xbox, what you'll do is you'll hold triangle or Y and then press whatever trigger, so right trigger for the right-handed weapon 
left trigger for the left-handed weapon. Simple as that. On PC, I believe it's hold E, and I believe it's just right click and left click. It's simple as that, guys, and there you have it. And it actually makes some, some weapons even more deadlier. I mean, so yeah, I love my pole blade. I love my God's team like I said. So yeah, guys, enjoy that, and I hope that helps you out. Also, I hope you enjoyed the build. If you do, leave me a like. It really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more out of English, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.